we are making pretzels. This process starts the night before. You make a pre-dough and that's a simple sourdough pre-dough. If you don't have sourdough starter, you can of course replace the sourdough starter with dry yeast or fresh yeast. I have 60 grams of cold water, not ice cold, just tap cold. 10 grams of sourdough starter, that's not even walnut sized. So now we just mix this thoroughly. See, that's good enough. Add 100 grams of flour to this. All-purpose flour is just fine. We just mix this together. I like doing this by hand because it goes quicker. Essentially, you're just quickly kneading this until all the flour is incorporated and it's one ball of dough. There's the little dough ball. Put that back into the bowl. Grab something to cover it. I'm just using a plate and leave that sitting on the counter overnight. Of course, the magic of filming. I've already prepared the pre-dough last night, so we can go right into creating the dough. For this, we need 240 milliliters of cold water. Then I'm gonna add my pre-dough. To this, we add 10 grams of salt, 10 grams of sugar, five grams or a teaspoon of dry yeast. If you're using fresh yeast, it's about 10 grams. I'm using 30 grams of butter here. There's two different types of pretzels, a Swabian one and a Bavarian one. The main difference in the dough is the Swabian one has more fat. The Bavarian one would use 15 grams, so half the amount of fat. And now, 400 grams of bread flour. You can use all purpose. I'm actually using 300 grams of bread flour and 100 grams of whole wheat flour, just because I like the whole wheat flour flavor. Of course, you can mix this by hand, no problem. You don't necessarily need a kitchen machine like I'm using here. Go slow in the beginning and then go a little bit quicker. On the KitchenAid, probably about three. Knead this for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is it, kneading time is over. So you're not gonna need a whole lot of flour on your work surface here. I would just knead this through once and form it into a ball. There we go. I'm just gonna cover this with a clean kitchen towel and I'm gonna let this rest for another 10 minutes. This is sodium hydroxide, food grade sodium hydroxide. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing 30 grams of this into one liter of water. So that's about an ounce into a quart of water. Careful, this is caustic, so don't splatter around. And a word about your countertops. I'm doing this on my kitchen stove on the glass top because lye can actually leave stains on your natural stone or quartz countertops. So either cover them well with some kind of plastic do it in the sink uh, or do it on a baking sheet, something like that. This will cause a chemical reaction, so make sure the water is cold because it will warm up a little. And that's it, that, that's it, and we'll start to prepare the pretzels. Now that this had some 10 minutes or so rest, I'm gonna portion it into roughly 80 to 90 gram portions pull the dough into kind of like a thick sausage, which makes that easier. I have a scale. Yeah, it doesn't have to be 100%, just roughly, so that makes sure that all the pretzels are roughly the same size. Now all you do with these is essentially just roll them up a little. Since we need long strands of dough, I'm just gonna start rolling these out. And you will notice relatively quickly you can't go forever because this dough will resist you. So the moment you can't go further and it always like pulls back, as you can see here, you roll it out and it kind of zips back. You just put it aside, roll out another one. And you do that, of course, for all of your little balls. Okay, once you're at the end of the row, you just start over on the first one again. And we keep doing this until all the pieces are rolled out. 
around two feet should do the trick. As I mentioned earlier, there are two different types of pretzels, the Swabian and the Bavarian. Swabia, when you look on the map, it's left of Munich, just to give you a broad direction. Um, so the Swabian pretzel uh, has a shape difference to the Bavarian pretzel and the dough has more fat. That's the whole difference. What you do for a Swabian pretzel is you roll it out with a belly. So it should have a belly in the middle. And you roll what is called the arms or the hands, so the ends of this long strand, you roll them fairly thin. It's said they represent the praying arms of kids. It was a religious thing back in the day. Okay, so how do we shape a pretzel? You take the strand, you cross them over, you cross them over again, and you fold it up. And there you have a pretzel. See? This goes onto a baking sheet. About the baking sheet, I'm using these uh, permanent baking mats. The lye is caustic, so it will be aggressive towards your baking sheets, most likely depending on what they're made of. So these are aluminum sheets, and when you look at this, lye just eats into that. All the white stuff is lye damage. So use something, either one of these permanent silicone baking mats, or use a couple of layers of parchment paper or baking paper. For the Bavarian pretzel, Bavarian pretzels are the same thickness throughout. So you just roll a long strand, fling it, and there you have it. That's a Bavarian pretzel. I'm gonna stick with Bavarian shapes because simply they're easier to make. If this doesn't stick, see, it doesn't. Have a little bit of water and just moisten it and now it will stick. And there we are. Leave some room between those pretzels because you're gonna let these rise now for like about half an hour to an hour. Let's see where we are with our pretzels. They're not looking too bad. They could go a little bit longer but actually they will puff up in the oven quite nicely. I'll stick them into the fridge for 15 minutes so that they cool down because when you look at it, see, these are really floppy. So they are hard to handle when we dip them into the lye back there. They will dry off a little in the fridge, which is just fine. It gives them this like super smooth surface that gives a nice shine. Now is the time to preheat your oven, 450 degrees. Here is what they look now, not much of a difference. However, when you look at it, they are considerably firmer. See how easy they are to handle now? A word of caution. Gloves, and if you have eye protection, use it. So I've done this a hundred times, so I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna ruin my eyes, but better be safe. Should you get a little spritz into your eyes, immediately rinse the eye with cold water. So, because this is only a 3% solution, so it's not super bad, but it will burn skin if you don't get it off quick. Have some water ready to go just in case, or wear goggles, that's, that's the good way to go. Now, you just give them a short dip, turn them over that the top goes down, drop them in, count to five, one, two, three, four, five, that's already enough. Lift them out, drain them off a little, put them back on your baking sheet. So work slow that you don't splatter. And be careful, these things are super slimy when they come out. This is pretzel salt. You can get that online on Amazon and who knows where. Pretzel salt is unlike large crystal sea salt it's compressed, so it's made up of small salt crystals that are compressed together. The advantage of that is it's less hygroscopic, so it sucks less moisture out of the air because pretzels get soggy pretty quickly. Of course, if you don't want to put salt on, don't put salt on. The pretzels will still be slightly salty because of this stuff, 
Once you heat it up, it essentially denatures to salt. One more thing, if you're making Swabian pretzels like this one with a thick belly, this is cut through. Swabian pretzels are cut all the way through. There you go. The other pretzels either, either break open naturally or just don't break open at all. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. And that is how you make pretzels. It's been about 12 minutes now. I peeked in, they're looking good, so I'm gonna pull them out. Let's have a peek on the underside of one. Nice. Perfectly cooked. And this is how you make pretzels. Enjoy these with butter or have them with Leberkäse. I'm going to link the recipe up here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.